Warm greetings everyone, I hope you are well. Welcome back again, my name is Nick and we're going to be playing a mod of Jet Set Willy. This is Jet Set Mix Up by Andy Ford and Ian Rushford in 2017. Uh, original um, Jet Set Willy of course was from Software Project in 1984 with Matthew Smith. But this one we can choose any one of eight characters and I think I'm going to choose that uh, dragon, so number seven to get us started. Now you can see a couple of randoms there as well. First random changes the character every different screen you go in and random two changes it when you get an object as well but I'm going to start off with this dragon breathing fire so essentially the game is the same uh, it's Jet Set Willy but it's changing the game sprite and I think there might be a few other graphical um, enhancements as well um, the timer is not ticking down that you'd normally have in Jet Set Willy you can see now it's got items to collect that are left over rather than how than how many you've got so far um, looks like they've changed the odd sprite here and there there isn't a razor there at the bottom going up and down it's some sort of weird character I believe some of the graphics have been stolen from um, well lifted let's say from Manic Miner so there might be a few Amoeba Trons and stuff like that about the place so keep your eye open yeah, but essentially, it's essentially the same game, isn't it, really? Um, you can see as well where it says the um, room name. That's got highlights with blue behind it. It didn't have that in the original one. Well, there's a spaceman there, where normally it'd be some crazy fish-type woman. Uh, going into the nightmare room, is it going to change the sprite? Oh, it does change it to that woman there. Okay, so it does change it when you go to the nightmare room to something else. You'll see this game is pretty familiar. So 2017, Andy Ford and Ian Rushford. Jet Set Willy is probably the most modded game, uh, that with Manic Miner as well. One of my favourite ones recently, one of the mods, is the Misty Nose, Mr. Nosy Bonk Edition. So if you haven't seen that so far, uh, have a look at that review. We've live streamed it uh, before as well. And the reason why I like that is because they've gone through the trouble of changing the music to the original Nosy Bonk music, and he was a character from a kid's show called Jigsaw, which run from 1979 to 1984. So this has got a few things really, but not doing a great deal more. Um, I'm quite interested to see uh, what the graphics are across the battlement, so we'll go up there, then we'll probably play it using that pigeon, because I'm, I'm very curious to know what this game is like controlling a pigeon. It'd be a bit weird, because essentially it can fly, can't it? So how far can it drop? Yes. Now, normally here there'll be some waiters going up and down in the kitchen. They missed the point here and reskinned the graphics. It doesn't really look like stuff you get in the kitchen. Maybe cup and saucers, that's okay, but I don't know what these things are across here. That looks like a new graphic, so well done them anyway for um, going to the effort of coding something a little bit different. Bum, 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 bum. Yes, okay, so no clock, items remaining, choice of eight sprites, and you can randomise it if you want to. You might try and try and guess where these other graphics are from every now and again. Through the swimming pool we go. It's a banyan tree here. Oh, what's that camel? That's a bit of a waste of time. That camel is going a bit weird. It's going backward and forward. That green camel. What the hell is that? Craziness. Whoops, I don't fancy my chances here. A bit of tree. If you are a bit of tree, then comment below. Right, okay. Let's go back this way. I do love this game. Well, Jet Set Willy, let's say. But lots and lots and lots and lots of mods. I'm sure we'll do um, some more in the future. Uh, we did, did live stream um, another one which changed the graphics a bit more than this as we go to the orangery. Oops, that's going to be death, is it? No, we would have landed in the swimming pool, but um, it doesn't work as water. You just you just die straight away. The West Wing, before it was a show. Perhaps they stole it from this. Yes, I think um, that one I was just mentioning, that other one, I've called, called it Wet Sunday Afternoon Mix or something like that. I'm no doubt we'll come to this at some stage. So there's a pigeon behind me, that red thing. Imagine controlling that around around the shop. Awkward. Now, why is a dragon owning the house? It reminds me a little bit of that Godzuki from the uh, cartoon Godzilla. Godzilla and Godzuki. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you might remember that if you're a similar age to me in the UK. I think it was in the, the US as well. Up in the sky, 20 stories high, something, 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 did, 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 Godzilla, bum, 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 Godzilla and Godzuki. Yeah, Nick, you've gone off onto one again. Right, let's get over these red things. It reminds me of, like, the spades in a pack of cards, but these are red. The West Wing roof. Bom, bom, bom. Now, that graphic at the bottom of the magenta one, that's from the 16th cavern in Manic Miner. I'm sure you knew that already. Let's get up to Newman Looney. It'd normally be an orange in the orangery, but this time it's that weird thing. 
Yes, okay, that's oil refinery, isn't it, below? Not oil refinery, one of the other ones. Yes, well done, Nick. Uh, yeah, it's Amoebatron back down there as well. Right, Newman Looney is a radar dish from the solar, solar generator in Manit Minor. Can't quite remember where that flappy thing's from. I'm, perhaps it's new. I think that must be from somewhere. It looks familiar. It looks familiar. Yeah, if you want to track this one down, um, this Manic Miner mix-up we've also reviewed quite some time ago. But if you want to track this down, I downloaded it from a site called, I think, Spectrum Computing. I think I got it from there. 2017, so at time of recording, getting on for four years old. Hurrah! If you're liking the channel, please consider subscribing. We cover quite a lot of material, in particular ZX Spectrum stuff. I'd be glad to have you on board and catch up for a, a live stream, then please do. It's good, good for a friendly community atmosphere in there. Cover other stuff as well, Commodore Amiga, SNES, Nintendo 64 at time of recording, occasional Commodore 64 game. But there's a lot in the archive if you want to look at the playlists. If you want to help it a bit more, there's always the membership there to help me going in my quest to try and review everything ever. It's tough going, growing on YouTube with all the rule changes and stuff, but uh, you know, any membership stuff will help me considerably. Let's go this green ball. Conveyor belt, always tough to uh, to uh, judge these. I think that's wrong, is it? That's wrong. He's died again. Jump over the arrow. We're up on the battlements. We're a dragon. Why can't we fly over the top? I do not know. And the same goes for that pigeon if we get round to him doing that. I just want to rescue Esmeralda at the end of this to see if it is Esmeralda or they've changed the graphic to some other person. Maybe we might have to rescue uh, Maria. Maybe. Right, so we must perform a quicker, quicker fleeing. This is uh, in Jet Set Willy 2. You go up that rope to the watchtower, and above there will be the rocket. But that isn't that isn't in Jet Set Willy 1. That's an extra bit they put in, and that's my favourite bit of the game in Jet Set Willy 2. Awesome, you're going to space, but the spaceman is in this. You can opt to control him. Such is the mod. It's an illusion of pink. The Amiga couldn't do pink, so don't be fooled. It's a mixture of red and magenta to trick the eye into thinking you're seeing pink battlements. Items remaining to collect, 79. The um, the character, no matter who you pick, always dances down the bottom. What, a pi what is a pigeon dancing going to look like? Do not know. Oh, look at that. It's not Esmeralda up there next to the door on the right. It's the Kong Beast, which I've killed many times before, so it's only fitting that we now rescue him from behind that door. Kong Beast. Hmm. Yes. Okay. It seems a bit wrong rescuing the Kong Beast. I, it could have been Eugene, couldn't it, from Eugene Slayer and Manic Miner, but it isn't. It's the Kong Beast. Right, let's get it. Whoops. Come on, let's get this right. No, you need to jump right on it. That'll do it. And the Kong Beast is rescued. Yes. Well, I think we'll reset this now. I think there's a button to reset it. And we'll play as the pigeon-y type thing. Can't be a good little uh, pigeon on top of the uh, house sort of uh, thing. Right, how do I do this? I do it somewhere. Somewhere. Hmm. Oakley doakley do. Oh, there we go. I've done it. Good. Right, so. Let's try the pigeon. So it's number five. Catch the pigeon. Catch the pigeon. Da, da, da. Dick Darsley was in that one. Yeah, okay, right. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Jet set mix up. It is a mix up. Right, there's a pigeon in the berth. It hasn't drowned. Oh, this is, this is crazy. Oh, this is going to be really awkward trying to play this. Oi! A, ju a jumping pigeon. All physics is blowing my mind, right? He's flapping his wings, but he can't fly. No, he just falls down. This is gonna look, This is looking so, so weird. Go on, flappy bird. This is the weirdest character to do. Fly, 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 fly. No, he died. It's the worst flying, it's the worst flying bird ever. Come on, pigeon. And the pigeons are dancing down the bottom there. They're flying, well, left and right, I suppose. Flippity flappity flop. There's the spaceman. Hmm. Right, can I get over that? Uh, I don't think we can get past him. Right, okay. Let's, shall we try and get past him into the chapel? Possibly. I, I don't, I'm, I'm not confident about this one. It's very hard, to, well, this character, it's very hard, yeah, it's very hard to judge if you're on the edge of the level or not, because there's obviously some space um, below the uh, p pigeon that the computer's going to work out for collision detection. Oops. Right, okay. Just fly over everything, mate. Just fly over it. But no, he's not doing it. He's just going low level as if he's walking along like a nincompoopan. Oh, look, there's the logo there. 
that's the uh, software project's logo, isn't it? That the impossible shape, possible triangle. I like drawing that shape sometimes. Good, I like to see that. Now we're in the hallway. There's one of his mates there, flying pigeon. Um, he's doing the right thing, flying backward and forward. So maintain height. No. Bizarreness, bizarreness. So you can pretty much do stuff with mods. I, I like the ones where they completely redesigned everything. This is a few graphical uh, enhancements. I mean, Andy Ford and Ian Rushford did a, a few things um, like this. Check out Manic Miner Mix-Up. Right. Can't quite remember how that plays now. Whoa, oh, he's fallen down like a Wally Wombat. The security guard. Dee -dee 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 -dee. My favourite version of Jet Set Willy is, well, the original Jet Set Willy 2, really, with the rocket and stuff. Uh, you don't seem to get too many mods of Jet Set Willy 2. I can't see any. Perhaps they coded it in a slightly different way. Yeah, strange that. Must code it in a slightly different way, making it um, harder for editors to get hold of. Maybe on purpose. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But taking the clock away is interesting, but I was never going to complete this game anyway. I was never going to run out of time. I was never going to take more than hours because the Z-Spectrum was getting super hot by that thing. That uh, object there is from the bank in Manic Minor. There's another thing from the 16th Cavern. Fly, birdie, fly. We've got three lives left. We won't, we won't go with all characters. So as I say, the other two random modes, one random mode will change the, the sprite circle around for each room that you go into for a bit of excitement or extra confusion. Uh, the other random one will change it as well, I believe, when you collect an object. So that's a bit exciting, isn't it? So if you want some kind of crazy metamorphosis, like a night lore, I suppose, then that's for you. You just don't know who you are ever. There's a, an Amoebatron going up and down. I've never seen an Amoebatron move that fast. It's going crazy. Look, this is this is probably the one of the most ridiculous screens to have been controlling a pigeon on. So there's a red pigeon and a magenta pigeon flying backward and forward the same height. And we've got my fellow who can only sort of like fly one foot off the ground. No, I'm not going to get away with this. One life left. One life left. It wasn't supposed to be a super big review because you, you pretty much know how Jet Set Willy play, don't you really? It's a mod, folks. If you're still here, well done, well done, you. Oh, I've fallen into the drink. Well, that's different as well. Well, that's, I've like, recoded that. That's quite nice. Good stuff. So, hope you liked having a look at that one. It was interesting, but it's never going to replace the original. Good to control some extra characters like the Spaceman and the Pigeon and any of those other hoodlums you see there. So, yeah, thank you for watching that again. That was Jet Set Mix-Up, published by Andy Ford and Ian Rushford in 2017, based on the original game from Software Projects in 1984, written by Matthew Smith. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, homebrew, or mod-like, then uh, please put that in the comment section below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. goodbye.